This is how you can create this cool night themed patterns watch inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Diagraphics. So for this tutorial I'm going to mix things up a little bit and use freehand drawing instead of the very precise drawings I usually do. This will achieve a more fun and organic look for our pattern. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do in this video is simply select the pencil tool and let's start off by drawing the moon. So I'm simply drawing the moon with freehand. That looks perfect. The point is we want to make this fun so we don't want a perfect shape. But we need to close the shape in the top right here. So select the zoom tool and zoom in a little bit. To join the paths, simply click Ctrl J. And now we get this weird angle. So select the pen tool and delete this anchor point right here. Then zoom out again. I'm pretty happy with the shape, but let's smooth it out a little bit. So select the smooth tool and just smooth the lines a little bit. I think I want to add a little bit to this line right here. So go back to the pencil tool and just add a little bit to the line. I think that looks good, but I don't like this pointy edge right here. So I will use the direct selection tool and click on this point right here and simply adjust the handle right here. That looks more natural. I'll do the same right here. I will simply just delete this point. That looks better. So to make the illustration more organic, select the illustration, go to the stroke menu and select round cap and round join. Then go to the width tool and adjust the width on your illustration. We want the illustration to get thinner on the edges. Do the same thing for this stroke. And because we want to achieve a more organic look, the width of the strokes does not have to match. Now select the color for the fill. Then go to the appearance panel. If it isn't open, you can find it in window and appearance right here. So go down to the appearance panel and click on the fill. Then go to effects. Go to Distort and Transform and select Transform. Then click the Preview button and offset the fill a little bit from the stroke. I think this looks cool. This once again will achieve a more fun and organic look. You can even rotate the angle if you want to. When you're done, click OK. Now we need to create a face for the moon. So zoom in where you want the face to be. Select the pencil tool and draw a mouth. You have to start from the middle and go out to the stroke. The other way around you will simply manipulate this path right here. Now draw an eye. And we want to use the width tool on the eye and mouth as well. Now we can zoom out. Actually I noticed that I did this the wrong way around. So zoom in again. Select the mouth. Select the width tool and make the inside of the stroke wider. And the outside thinner. Now it matches the eye, so now we can zoom out again. So that's the moon, let's select everything, right click and group it. Now let's do the cloud. So once again select the pencil tool and let's try to draw a cool cloud. I think I'll try to do it better. I'm pretty happy with this one, I just need to correct a few things. So first of all let's close the path, so zoom in and let's move the path a little bit. Then select this one and click Ctrl J. Now I saw an issue right here. So these two lines are overlapping and I don't like that. So select the path and simply correct the handles. Now let's zoom out. And I'll make this a little bit rounder. So select the pen tool again and draw the shape as you like it. I think this is a better shape. Now with the cloud selected. Go to the stroke menu and make sure round cap and round join is on. After that, select the width tool and let's adjust the width here as well. And we have to compare with the moon. And once again, we don't want it to be perfect. I do want to smooth this edge out a little bit. So select the smooth tool and smooth it out a little bit. I think this looks better. Now go to the selection tool and while having the cloud selected, go to the eyedropper tool and eyedrop the color from the moon. But we want to make it a lot brighter, we just want the same nuance as the moon. So go to the fill and slide the slider almost entirely to the left. 
Now we have some kind of off-white that matches the moon. Then to make the face on the cloud, we select the pen tool and simply draw some eyes on the cloud too. To make the second eye, we can simply duplicate this one. But before we do that, let's use the width tool. Then go to the selection tool and duplicate this eye. And for the mouth, simply select the pencil tool again and draw a mouth. Use the width tool on this one as well. So now select the cloud, go to the appearance panel and select the fill. Then once again, go to effect and you can simply apply transform right here. Now the fill on the cloud has the same offset as on the moon. It's very hard to see right now because it's white and off white. It will show if we change the background color. Now select the cloud and group this one as well. And move it up a little bit. So now let's draw the star. And drawing stars freehand is not my specialty. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. So go to the star tool. And let's start off by drawing a star. Hold down the shift key and the alt key to make it straight with straight lines. Then move it to the empty space. So now unselect the star. Choose the pencil tool and simply draw around the star. That looks alright for now. I will adjust the rest of the shape. So delete the template star. And let's start off by closing up this gap right here. So click Ctrl J. Now zoom out again. So now I will start off by using the direct selection tool to adjust the handles to make the star look a little bit better. Then I'll use the smooth tool to smooth out these crooked lines right here. I'm quite happy with this. I'll just correct these points a little bit. I think this looks good. So now once again we want to select the width tool and make the strokes wide on the inside and narrowing out to the points. Then select the eyedropper and select the moon color. And then for the star, simply make it a little bit lighter. Then go down to the appearance panel and select the fill. Go to the effect and apply transform. And to make the face for the star, we will take the face from the cloud and adjust it a little bit. So select the cloud, right click it to ungroup and select the face. Then hold down the alt key to duplicate it and duplicate it to the star. And it goes behind the star, so simply right click, go to arrange, and select bring to front. From here we can adjust the face of the star a little bit, so it isn't exactly the same as the clouds. So go to the direct selection tool, and adjust it a little bit. Now group the star and the face. Group the cloud and the face. And the moon should be grouped already. It is. So now we want to create our pattern. So zoom out and select the three illustrations. Then go to object, go to pattern and go to make. From here we can arrange the patterns as we like. First of all I'll change the tile type. I'll choose hex by column. Then I will scale the illustrations down a little bit. And move them to fill out the white space. When you're happy simply click done. And now we have the pattern right here. So let's move these illustrations. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on our canvas. Then simply unselect the stroke, select the fill and select the pattern we just made. And if you want a background, you can duplicate this layer, lock the top layer, select the bottom layer and change the color of this layer. I hope you're having an awesome day. If you want to watch another pattern design video, you can click on one of the videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.